Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how Anuta Atom can be used to automate L2VPN services in your network. For this, we will utilize Atom service models that are based on Yang. What we are seeing on the screen is the L2VPN service model. This is inspired from the IETF RFC for L2VPN, but few modifications have been made for easier consumption. The design of the service model is such that the Yang module is divided into two main containers, VPN services and sites. So the first step is to create a VPN service. The VPN service is a service level view and under the VPN services we will create the VRFs. It has details such as VPN ID, VPN flavor that is set to VPWS in our case, it can also be set as VPLS. We also have service topology which we have selected as any to any. In the VPN nodes, we will configure the devices that acts as the PEs. So here in the VPN node 1, we have the RD values for route distinguisher for this particular device, the device IP that will be the PE and the node role will be any to any. The VPN targets have the corresponding RT values. Similarly, we can configure the second VPN node 2 which will act as a second PE. Before we apply this part of the configuration, let us verify the device to ensure no configurations are present. The device we are using is a Juniper MX device that supports native Yang. As you can see here, there are no L2VP and VWS configurations on this device. Now let us apply this configuration. Atom will now generate the netconf payload and apply it to the devices. Here we can see the VPN service netconf payload that Atom has applied on both the PE devices. On the device, we are now able to see the relevant configurations. The next step is to create a site. A site represents a connection to a customer office to one or more VPN services. It basically contains information regarding detailed implementation arrangements made with the customer or peer operators at each interconnect location. The main attribute in this template is the device that will be used as a PE. Let us activate it. However, in this case Atom does not generate any commands for the site container. Similarly, we can create another site for the second device. Under the site, we have the site bearer where we give the physical port or lag details that is used in the PEC connection. Like in the case of the main site container, Atom does not generate any commands for the site bearer as well. Similarly, we create another bearer under the second site for the second device as an example. Then we have the site network access container that defines the bearer, the type of connection and other service parameters. This is also the container that links the physical bearer and the service together. As seen here, the VPN service created earlier has been referred as the service ID and the service type is VPWS. It also has the device IP in that particular site and the type set as point to point as it's a VPWS service. In the subcontainer bearer, it has the bearer details we created under the site and the port ID that will connect to the CE device. And the tagged interface has the kind of tagged interface used which is Q&Q, the tag type set to CS VLAN along with the service VLAN and customer VLAN details. Now once we trigger this model, Atom will generate the corresponding netconf payload for the device.
As you can see on Atom, the netconf payload corresponding to the configuration is generated and provisioned on the device. The payload shows the details of how the VPN service and the physical bearer has been stitched together. The same can be verified on the device as well. As seen here, Atom has provisioned a VPWS based L2 VPN on the Juniper MX device. Similarly, the other device can be configured as well to complete the service. Thanks for watching.